Diane in Denmark here, woohoo! It is Wednesday, or Little Saturday as they call it in Sweden. Uh, everything is go, go, go here. I'm doing a bit of zone cleaning uh, here in the kitchen, Fly Lady Zone uh, 2. But let's get down to basics. We're, we're doing a, a week of Fly Lady basics. And Wednesday in Fly Lady Land, as I like to call it, is Anti Procrastination Day. I want to talk about that, and I also want to talk about how by just doing our morning and evening routines, it makes the zone work so much easier, and the zone work is almost doing itself. Because I know a lot of you, you want to get into the, into the details and into the nitty gritty, and you're kind of not doing the, the morning routine and the evening routine. Uh, anyway, well, we'll talk about that in a minute, but first things first, we are also, for the whole month of May, we're doing a little challenge together, you know, this moving in May, the flying lady thing of just getting a wee bit more exercise into your day, whether it be taking the dog for an extra walk, uh, meeting up with a friend and going for a hike in the hills, uh, or just doing a weekly home blessing hour and, you know, wearing your Fitbit and measuring the steps. So I, I said I would hold you accountable and I'm checking in with you every day to, to tell you what I've been doing and you can chime in down below and tell the rest of us what you've been doing and we'll all give you a rah 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 with our, with our pom poms. So, um, hold on, I'll stop making noise in a minute. Uh, for my exercise yesterday, I was on my bike because I biked down to the sea with my bestie Vibika uh, to have our breakfast there and then in the afternoon um, just before dinner, just before I made dinner, I was really not feeling like doing anything and I almost used my get out of jail free card. Uh, you know, we, we talked about this at the beginning of the challenge, giving yourself some leeway and I, I don't know, I was just kind of feeling, Ugh. and I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll put in my running shoes, running shoes are there uh, in, a, in a little tray beside the, uh, beside the fridge. And I thought, you know what, it's only seven minutes out, seven minutes back. If I can't do the seven minutes out, it doesn't matter, you know, this amount. And you know, you know what happens? When I got out there, I had some really good music on my, uh, on my phone. And actually, uh, I actually ended up going eight minutes out and eight minutes back. So it, it just, just to show you sometimes, like, I'm, please go easy on yourself. If you need to take uh, a day, if things are just not going right for you, uh, or the, the dog has been sick, you know, people have, have commented here, just take that day, don't, don't worry about it. <clears throat> but on the other hand, for, for me, especially that not wanting to break the chain, you know, I've been doing my exercise every other day and I didn't want to break the chain. And actually when I came back, I was like, whoa, <laughs> felt really good. And uh, the, the kids always say to me, mom, why are you walking around like this? And it's because, since I started doing the seven minute exercise app, uh, I, I keep on doing like uh, squats and things while I'm unloading the dishwasher. And so you're getting in all these little random acts of fitness, even though it might look a bit strange to the rest of the family. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so I'll tell you what, let's just sit down for five minutes, but we're not going to sit down for too long. Uh, but get, get your sleeves rolled up. And I'm, I'm channeling, I hope you're ready to channel some fly lady energy. I'm channeling my granny's energy. I talked about that yesterday. I'm wearing her uh, crystals. Hope you are dressed to shoes. Uh, and we'll sit down just for five minutes and talk about anti-procrastination day and then I'm going to show you some zone cleaning. So let's sit down. Right, you may want to grab your control journal if you made one of those. Hopefully, hopefully you did. And um, just grab a pencil and a paper. And anti-procrastination day in Flyday Land, what is that? Anti-procrastination day is every Wednesday or again, make any day that suits you and your family your schedule. And all those tasks that we've been putting off because on one hand we might think, oh, I really don't want to do it, like scheduling uh, dentist appointments. Or on the other hand, maybe it's a task you think, oh, it's going to take a long time and you just never get started. This is the time that we can, we can start on those anti-procrastination projects. Uh, just take your time out for five minutes um, and, and get started on it. Now, you can keep a running list in your control journal of, of these tasks. Um, otherwise, I, I just, I, I note them down on my uh, telephone. And, you know, using the Getting Things Done system, I keep lists on the telephone. I use Google Keep. Uh, that's the app that I use for that. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link to Getting Things Done up there. 
but just anything that you've been putting off. I've mentioned before that uh, last year I had to renew my British passport and I put it off because there were a lot of steps that you had to jump through and you know find the documents and print things off online and get it posted and make copies and and I, I was kind of putting off and in the end when I actually did it it didn't take long at all I had just you know if we just put our blinkers on for five minutes and get started with it uh, things aren't quite so bad same with uh, tax papers maybe you haven't um, handed in your tax papers yet maybe you need to find the tax papers you know, just set your timer for five minutes and get it done. It could be something like, uh, as, as I've mentioned before in my videos, uh, changing a light bulb. Uh, and I had light bulbs that needed changed outside in the garden, which involved me, you know, just getting a ladder and it was a bit more. So just those kind of things, things that have kind of been, you've been putting them off and they're kind of annoying you on, on a daily basis. So, so let's just set our timer for five minutes and do that. Uh, and normally, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post on, on Wednesday what my anti-procrastination task is for the day. Now, all this week we're doing Fly Lady Basics. Um, and a lot of questions have come in since uh, I, you saw me doing Weekly Home Blessing on Monday. Yesterday I was talking about Plan and Play Day. There's a lot of questions coming up which show to me that many of you have kind of jumped in with this fly lady stuff and you're not really focusing, you haven't really understood or worked on getting those morning routines and evening routines nailed down. Uh, because a lot of you are asking about, you know, when, you know, in the weekly home blessing hour, why aren't we doing the bathroom? That's because we are doing it as part of our, our daily routines or every second day routines, the swish and swipe in the bathroom. Because we're swishing the swiping the bathroom every day or every other day or every every other day it doesn't need to be every day it means that we're kind of keeping up with the bathroom and then when it comes around to zone work zone three the bathroom then you can really get into the corners so if you're asking these kind of questions you've probably not done the 31 baby steps now the 31 baby steps those were um some of the original videos that i made here on youtube i'll put the link up there um Marla had the 31 baby steps and she brought out a book last year, was it last year? Yeah, called 31 Days from Chaos to Clean. I lead you through 31 days of how the Fly Lady system works and how to set up your routines. So if you haven't done that before, please go and do that first because you know you're trying you're trying to walk, uh sorry, you're trying to run before you can walk. And I'm just about to show you that just by doing your morning routine and your evening routine, the zone work kind of does itself and there's very little to be left uh, to be done in the zone work. So let, let's talk about what zone work. Um, so we, we've talked about our daily exercise. I've checked in with you for day eight. Talked about anti-procrastination tasks. Remember, set your timer before you start working on them. Maybe note them down in, in your uh, control journal so you can look at your list on a Wednesday. Oh, uh, for example, yesterday we were talking about plan and play. Did you actually plan your menus? If not, go ahead and do that. So anyway, uh, let's talk a bit about zone work. Let's get moving. So get, get your, uh, if you want to put on your penny, roll up your sleeves so you're ready for some action. So once we've got our routines going, morning routine, evening routine, I told you it's a good idea to add in your weekly home blessing hour and once a week. And then after that, once you're really comfy with that whole system, then you can add in some zone cleaning, zone cleaning, zone decluttering. Now, there are various ways of doing it. If you're a brand new uh, fly baby, a great way to do it is just to look at the missions on the Fly Lady website. I'll put the link uh, down below. I always put the link down below. You, there are five missions posted per week and usually it's a mix of um, decluttering something, um, you know, decluttering uh, spices or it can be something like um, some kind of cleaning thing like removing the extractor fans and cleaning those. I've got mine in the dishwasher right now. Uh, and the Fly Lady publishes them Monday to Friday. You don't have to do the Monday to Friday and you don't need to do all five. Just say pick one. If you're just beginning, just pick one. And I found it really useful in the beginning just to go with that because 
it, it was really easy having somebody to tell me what to do. I've mentioned this before. That's what I loved about flying leaders is the system was there. If you tell me what to do, I can do it. I kind of, can't kind of make up the whole thing and be pulling rabbits out of hats. Uh, so that's why I love the system so much. Otherwise, uh, the, the Fly Lady missions, if you're, if you're signed up for the Fly Lady emails, they, they come in that way as well. And you'll get a sneak peek about what the missions are going to be uh, the week before. And generally speaking, the, the zones are the first week of the month will be zone one, second week of the month will be zone two, third week of the month, zone three, four, five. You, you get how it works. The, the, when we're between, uh, at the end of a month and the beginning of a new month, that's when you'll see that sometimes we'll have a split week where we're, we're working in zone five and zone one. But listen, if you're new, don't, don't worry about any of that. It, it, will, it will all happen in good time. What I've started doing now with the, the fly league, because I'm, I'm a, an advanced uh, flyer, I've been flying for years, is I, I, I have in my control journal, this is my control journal, I mean, you've seen it, the way I've set up my weekly home blessing hour, <coughs> excuse me, and my inspirational quotes, I've printed out the detailed cleaning list for the zone, okay? So you see here, this is a detailed cleaning list, and I've added on my own notes. Now, when you see this, if you're the type that says, oh, okay, I need to take a screenshot of that and work through all the things, stop right there. And I want you to ask, ask yourself, are you, you know, dressed to shoes? Have you got some indoor shoes on? Have you got your hair and makeup done? Are you ready to go for the day? Have you uh, ran, uh, run the dishwasher today? I, I've run mine, because you can see I've already set the table for dinner tonight. Uh, have you done your load of laundry for the day? Um, if, you, if you haven't done those things, you have got no business being here starting some zone cleaning. And I'll tell you why. Because a lot of the zone cleaning is stuff that will happen automatically if you're doing your morning and evening routine. And you're saying to me, well, how, how could that be? Out? Well, uh, I'll give you a few examples. For the kitchen zone, okay, um, it will say, uh, here's one of the missions that comes up regularly. Clean the stove top knobs and oven door. Now, here's my stove top, and there's the oven. I am, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my shiny sink picture every night. When I'm cleaning up after dinner, you know, my family, we all help, everybody takes things and puts them back in the fridge, and puts them where they need to go, puts their uh, dishes in the dishwasher. Uh, then I wipe off the table uh, and I wipe down the sink and I wipe off the stove. It's done. So when we're in the zone, that's not, I never need to do that mission anymore because it's just automatic. It's part of my evening routine. Um, what else do we take? Oh yeah, uh, clean, here, here's another uh, fly lady mission that often comes up. Clean uh, the trash can. Let me see if I, let, let me see if I can put you up a bit. Right, you, you'll often see, you know, clean the trash can. This is underneath my sink where I've got recycling bins and the general rubbish and where I keep, um, you know, my rubber gloves and the tabs for the dishwasher. Uh, and bags for the rubbish. Now, I, I never need to do that thing of, you know, scrubbing the whole thing out because when I empty those, I'll be emptying those uh, especially today because the rubbish will be picked up tomorrow. I give them a quick wipe out and I, I don't even know that I'm doing it. It just, it just happens. And that's because it, it, it's just part of my routine. That is part of my uh, weekly home blessing hour you know, taking out the trash and recycling. And when, when I bring it back in, I give it a quick wash out and boom, I'm done. I'm not having to spend 50 minutes scrubbing it because it's just happening on a regular basis because of morning routine, evening routine, and weekly home blessing. Uh, I'll give you another example, just hold on. Now you saw me in here on Monday when I was doing a weekly home blessing hour. As part of weekly home blessing hour, the part where we get to um, shining mirror, mirrors and windows, glass doors, you saw me, I do it by zone. So this is already done. Uh, you know, I did a quick squish squish. It took me, what, uh, two minutes. And I also wiped off uh, the windowsills. So I'm not having to do that as part of zone work. It happened during weekly home blessing. So do you see how it works? Things, 
And there's kind of less and less to do in this area if you will just do the morning routine, the evening routine, and your weekly home blessing hour. And then once you get about further down the line, <coughs> oh, excuse me, uh, then you know you, you can go through your list of what's detail cleaning, uh, shine the sink. Well, often I, I give it an extra shiner with the, the, the stainless steel wool. Um, let's see, clean the vent hood fan and filters. I've, I've taken those out and I run those through the dishwasher. That's what I was doing uh, this morning. And I de-chalk the kettle, I de-chalk the coffee machine and the, uh, the dishwasher. So that's just, I think, it doesn't take any effort on my part. You know, I, I put in the tablets or, or the uh, powder and off we go. Uh, and I've also got um, notes here for things like, you know, when, when we are in the kitchen zone, when I'm doing my grocery list, to remember to add things like, you know, do I need to buy uh, rinseed for the dishwasher? Do I need to uh, stock up on, uh, for example, kitchen roll? Um, you know, just, so, so just by following the basic weekly plan, you know, where we're talking about plan and play, R and D, all those things, the zone of work, most of it does itself. Um, oh, and also I was going to say, if you will, if you will just please do, do your routines, the basic routines, most of this will do itself. And then when you're in the zone, you don't need to be doing that thing of spending 15 minutes uh, every day. Um, you've seen me before. If you want me to clean with you, uh, normally what I do is I set my timer for 15 minutes and you've seen me in here, I take my feather duster on a stick, let me just grab that, and what I do is, you know, I get the ceilings, I go around the room uh, clockwise, and then usually I take uh, the vacuum, and because I've already vacuumed in here during my weekly home blessing hour, uh, I'll maybe get a bit more into the corners, I'll do the top of the skirting boards, I don't know if you can see those from there, uh, and maybe the skirting boards will need a, a little wipe down. But the rest of the time, my zone work, I spend it when, when I'm waiting for, no, oh, hold on, for my, uh, this feather duster is about to fall over. Uh, when I'm waiting for coffee to brew, I can open up the spice drawer and check if there's anything in there that needs cleared out, and also, it's just given me that time to think, oh, well, you know, uh, you saw me last month when I was in Kitchen Zone. I decided to go ahead and uh, make a new cover for the bench there and some cushion covers. And it's all because I've just been plodding along with my routines. And it just gives you that, ah, oh, you know, you feel in charge. Everything's going OK. And last month I didn't do much cleaning here because I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll do the cushion project. but. Every day when I've made dinner, I'm just kind of wiping things down. So I don't even have to do that thing of uh, moving everything around and uh, removing the crumbs. It just happens on a daily basis because I'm doing my routines, my simple morning and evening routines. Uh, anyway, just one more thing. One last thing is please don't lose sight of decluttering when you start with Flyley because you may want to, I know some, some of us, have a tendency to think, oh, there's a plan for something and let's get onto the cleaning. By reducing the amount of clutter in your house, it really makes it so much easier to clean. You can see that in my work talks. I hardly have anything. I like to have them uh, in the drawers and I've really decluttered a lot of appliances that I didn't need. Uh, you, know, you know, those appliances that you maybe uh, think they're a good idea at the time, use them once or twice and then they end up catching dust. Uh, you know, think about how many tea towels do you have? Do you have some stained ones? Can those be made into rags for cleaning, for doing your swish and swipe? Um, and, and I'll tell you something that has happened the last couple of months since uh, I made a video in here about cleaning. I used to have my tea towels underneath the one here for the, uh, underneath the stove. Now, I, I wanted to con-marry them because I, I like the feeling of them all neat but they wouldn't fit into that very narrow drawer. Uh, we, we have, uh, and for people who ask, it's a Pog and Pole uh, kitchen. It's a German uh, design kitchen. Very, very sturdy. Um, but this is a really narrow drawer and it kind of worked for a time, but it, something just fell off. And then one time in kitchens and I thought, hmm, maybe I can change things around to suit me. 
that had been working for me before but hadn't worked late, later. And, and that's the thing, you can take these up to things up to revision the whole time. So what I've done now is I've moved the tea towels and I've put them in here. This is a, a deeper, uh, this is a deeper drawer. And also we have these drawers all the way along. Uh, so I folded my uh, tea towels, and you've seen these, if you see my, oh, uh, my Instagram pics, you know that I, I put a, a fresh tea towel um, once I've shined the sink in the evening. And I, I use the tea towel or the hand towel, I've been using that day to wipe everything out. I'm not kind of scrubbing it shined every day, I'm just drying it out and then that gets thrown in the wash. And also in here I've got the wee pads uh, for my squish squish mop, um, my aprons, and in fact that reminds me, I'm, I'm going to put the apron, because we are in zone two, uh, the apron that I've been using, this is uh, one of my favourite ones, uh, and you'll ask what it is, it's by Ulster Weavers, they make very nice aprons. Uh, that's going to go in the wash as part of uh, zone two week. Another thing is I'm going to put my oven gloves, they need uh, a go in the wash, uh, and I've got some cleaning cloths. And what, so what was in here is now being moved over there, and I'll tell you what it is. So in this one, I've put in what was in the other drawer, um, all my things like uh, baking paper, uh, bea papier, it's called in Danish, um, tin foil, we don't use a lot of tin foil in Denmark, because it's really bad for the environment. Uh, and also, I've seen this before, uh, I love this stuff. This is what the kids use to wrap uh, packed lunches. It's packed lunch paper. Uh, the Danes do not use uh, plastic or uh, tin foil for, for wrapping uh, packed lunches. It's this kind of paper. It's, and be warned, if you're new to Denmark, this is not for baking because it's, it's not grease proof paper. Um, and, and several of my friends made that mistake when they, they moved here and tried tried using it in the oven and burnt cookies. Anyway, uh, this is um, Danish melpaka papier, which means uh, lunchbox paper, and you can write on it and it's good fun. Uh, so that, so it's really easy for my kids now that everything is just kind of spread out. When it was in the smaller drawer, but the taller drawer, everything kind of got on top of each other. Now it's easily accessible. And then I've got, um, you know, those kind of Ziploc bags from Ikea, um, a few, extra serviettes from Easter that we'll use up, um, and things like chopsticks and, uh, you know, this kind of weird thing, and elastic bands. So, anyway, uh, I, I hope that helped you a bit with zone work, uh, and please, 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 uh, as I said before, if you haven't done it before, just stick with the morning routine, the evening routine, let me know how you're getting on with that. And now, now that, you know, uh, you maybe are so far ahead with, with the fly lady routines, you can get into the nitty gritty stuff. Uh, and one, one of my favorite nitty gritty jobs, my dad used to like those kind of uh, little picky jobs as well, is taking um, one of these um, sticks and then I, I wrap it in an old uh, piece of uh, cloth uh, and I run it along here, you know that bit underneath the, uh, the, sto uh, the, the oven to get all the, uh, the crumbs out and give that a good clean. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to say, excuse me for a second on the floor here, but at least the floor is clean. You saw, you saw me uh, vacuuming it and, and mopping it on Monday. Uh, live long and prosper. May the Danish food be with you. Um, and let me know how you're getting on with the fly lady system in general. What's working, what's not working. And um, especially if, uh, let's give a wee three cheers for, for those morning and evening routines. Okay, live long and prosper. See you soon.